Hi, this is Arian from mWater. I would like to take you through four steps of getting started with mWater, of how you can design a survey, deploy it, see your responses and make your report. Those are just four steps and they're very easy to follow. So please follow me. You start by going to portal.mwater.co. You log in and hopefully you already got your username with your recognizable uh, name. You log in and what you will see is you will come to the main page which has surveys, maps, dashboard manage and a couple of other things. We are only going to use the surveys at this point. You click on surveys and because we're starting something new we're going to create a new survey. Within this survey there are a couple of things that we can do. The first bit is design it, later we will deploy it, see the responses and make the report. All these other things that are in between are more details that will come in other videos explained. First, of course, we're going to give it a name. And when you start working with it, you can add any question and it's what you see is what you get. So you can do a number question, which in this case is age related, or you could do any different type of question going from radio buttons, text, date, location, images, and a couple of others as well, to more complicated Likert questions and matrix questions. Just going to add one more example, a radio button question, what is your gender? And I'm going to give the option male and female. You can make a set of questions as you wish and as you want. But obviously it's good to link with already existing examples. And for this, there's a very strong aspect, which is the indicator library. You can go here on the right, or you can go here on the top on indicators. And with this, you can import some of the questions which are already standard for the various sectors, such as the JMP wash indicators. And now for this example, I'm going to include the Washington questions on disability. I can go for more information and it will open it. It will provide information about the background. I can create it from here, but at the moment, I'm just going to go here. I'm going to click on add to survey. What it does now, it puts all the information and all the questions that are related to the Washington Group of Disability into the survey, as you can see now. You can recognize it with this little tick, that's an indicator. We are done with our server. We can change still the sequence if we want to. It's what you see is what you want, what you get. This was step one. The second step is to deploy it, to make it available to certain people so they can start filling in the answers. When you go to deploy, there are two options. You can do to enumerators or anonymous and send it to people via email. In this example, I'm going to deploy it at the moment to myself, which is a bit boring, but it will show you um, what can be done. You can choose a number of uh, aspects related to this, including approval chains, but at the moment I'm not going to do that. As of this moment, it is possible for Bob, in this case, to submit reports to it, to submit examples. So let's go over to Bob on his phone and he can show us how he does that. Hi, I'm Bob. I just received information that I've got a new survey to do. First thing to do, I synchronize now to make sure that I've got the latest information. Then I go to start a survey and indeed the example is visible to me. I select the top one and I start answering all the questions. Obviously, all the information I'm sending now is purely for demonstration purposes, but it shows you how I can go down, comments, tick, 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 and I can go further down. At the bottom, I press submit. Now it's being sent through to our colleagues. I will do it one more time, start a survey. At the top, there is example, and I fill in the information that I have, that I get from the person that I'm interviewing. As you can see, it's very quick to choose answers. Obviously, normally you would go through the whole questionnaire with the person while you're asking it. Now I press submit and then I do it again, synchronize now to make sure 
that all the data that I've just collected is sent to my colleagues. And that's it. And welcome back to looking at the results. I said there are four steps, design, deploy, responses, and report. You can see we've done design, we've done deploy, and our colleague Bob has already sent in some answers. Let's have a look at those. We go to responses, and indeed we can see that two of them have been sent. We can go to detailed view if we want to see all the details, but obviously we also want to quickly see what the results are. So we can go to visualization. Visualization gives a very quick and easy way of looking at each of the questions and what the answers have been. So we've had two responses, 50-50% on gender, and we've got the ages here, and then for the Washington questions, all of the various components. Now imagine we want to send the reports that I have to share with my boss or with actually the colleagues that have been helping in the field. I can look at visualization and those that I find interesting, I click on add to survey report. So in this case, it is like this one, this one, and let's say this one. Three of them now have been added to the survey report. I go to survey report and you will see those three graphs have been selected. They're a little bit too big, so I'm just going to edit them. Go to edit and you can uh, move them around or you can add other widgets as you wish and as you want. Now they're next to each other. I'm going to put one more next to each other and I'm going to put a title, which may be, for instance, let me put this one to the bottom. And I'm going to put a title, this is an example. This works with widgets, so you'll be able to um, put various widgets what you want. This is it. And of course my spelling comes is an example. I can include here also uh, charts or I can specify it further, but for this example, I'm just going to take the standard ones that come from responses visualization. I stop editing now. Imagine that I want to share this with my boss. Now my boss doesn't necessarily have mWater or doesn't have access to this particular survey. I can decide to make it into a dashboard and what happens, it looks identically the same, but a dashboard can be shared with people outside the mWater environment as well. If I go here to share, I can either give it to individuals who can view it, so for instance, I can do Arian at mWater, which is another name I'm using here, but also I can create a shareable link. And this shareable link I can copy and send in an email and somebody can see and have access to this report as I've prepared it now. So let me summarize what I have done. I've created a new survey. Once I created it and designed it, I've been using indicators, that was step one. I went to deploy to make it available and people have been sending in data. I've been looking at those in step three by responses and visualization and been selecting them to put into my survey report, which is step four. Finally, I've made the survey report into a dashboard that is possible to share beyond the mWater environment. Those steps, maybe four and a half, are what enables us to quickly make surveys available for any amount of people. Thank you very much and I hope you have a great day.